Hello all, welcome to the next lesson of the lecture series in Fibonacci Heap. In this uh, lesson series, uh, we are considering Fibonacci Heap. We are learning properties of Fibonacci Heap, operations on Fibonacci Heap and the applications of the Fibonacci Heap. We have already seen Fibonacci Heap, its definition, how it is represented and how circular doubly linked list is used in Fibonacci Heap. What is the advantage of using circular doubly linked list in Fibonacci heap? We had seen the operations. We had already covered the creation operation, insertion operation, finding mean key operation and union operation in the previous lessons. In the today's lesson, we will be talking about the next operation that is the decrease key operation. So let's talk about how a key can be decreased into the Fibonacci heap. So just to decrease key of an element x uh, to some other key value that is k, there are few cases. The first case is min heap property do not violate. So when we decrease the key of any node from a value to some other value k and no min heap property is violated, then we do not perform any other operation and we change heap main pointer and that to only if necessary. So now let's see an example. If we have the Fibonacci heap and we want to decrease a key, let's say 46 to 45. So now on decreasing this key from 46 to 45, if we convert this from 46 to 45, then there will be no change into the entire heap. So we do not even need to change this min heap pointer because this is, is still on its correct place. So this is the case number zero when we decrease a key but there is no min heap property is violated and if required then we change the min heap pointer otherwise everything will remain same into the Fibonacci heap. Now the case number one if the parent of x is unmarked and we decrease a key of x to some other value k and from that uh, the min heap property is violated then in that case we cut off link between the x and its parents then mark parent and then we add three rooted x to root list updating heap main pointer so let's see this with the help of an example let's we want to decrease this key 45 to 15 so if we decrease this from 45 to 15 then obviously min heap property is violated as we can say its parent 24 is a uh, smaller than 15 and what we need to do is we need to cut this tree from here from the parent and this uh, parent will be marked so we have cut this from tree here and the parent is marked as we can see let me revise so we'll cut this from here and this parent will be marked and now this tree needed to be joined in the root list of the tree and now once we join this in the root list of the tree we need to update hip heap min pointer so if it is required then we can update the min heap pointer but as we can say in this case this is 15 it's larger than the min value so we do not need to update the min heap pointer this is case two now let's see the case number uh, third one that is a uh, case three as i have started from case zero so this is case number two case zero case one and now case two parent of x is marked whenever the parent of x is marked and we need to decrease the key of x from some value to another value k then we cut off the link between x and its parent and add x to root list then we cut off link between the parent and the grandparent of x or we can say the parent of parent x so we cut off the link between the parent and its grandparent and then we add this parent even to the root list then if grandparent is unmarked then we mark it and if grandparent is already marked then again we cut off the grandparent unmark and repeat the process 
So let's see this with the help of an example. Let's say if you want to decrease the key 35 to 5. You can see this is 35. So we want to decrease this from 35 to 5. While decreasing this from 35 to 5, mean he property will be violated and its parent is already marked parent. So case 2 will be applied. First, we'll decrease the key of x to k. So we have decreased the key from 35 to 5. Then we cut off link between x and its parent. So we cut off this link from uh, x to its parent and we join this into the root list. So we have joined x in the root list. Then we cut off link between parent and its grain parent. So this is the parent and this is the grain parent. As you can see, parent was marked. So we now cut off the uh, link between parent and grain parent. And this will also be added to the root list. So we have added this to the root list. Now again, if we will check if parent of parent, that is if grandparent is unmarked, then we mark it. But here in this case, we can see that grandparent is already marked. In that case, we cut off the grandparent, unmark and repeat the process. So we have cut off the grandparent and we have added this into the root list. And now uh, this is the new Fibonacci heap. And we, if required, then we need to update this uh, main pointer. So we need to update this uh, main pointer. And just to update this main pointer, we had already seen the operation while we were doing into the delete main key operation. We need the buffer and then we'll uh, start from the leftmost tree and we'll try to uh, update this uh, main key. So this is how we can perform the decrease a key operation and we have decreased a key from 35 to 5. Now the next uh, uh, operation that is to be performed on the Fibonacci heap is the delete key operation. So just to perform the delete key operation, we must know the two operation. One, the decrease key and the delete min operations. We had already discussed both these operations. Just now we have discussed decrease key operation and in the previous video lesson, we had discussed the delete min key operation. So the idea behind this is to decrease the key of that x to minus infinity and then bring it to the top that is onto the uh, root list and then from that we will delete the minimum element because minus infinity will be the minimum element in the root list and then we delete this minimum element from the Fibonacci key. So now uh, the cost of the decrease key is of order of 1, cost of the delete min key is of order of t of n and uh, we can see that where t of n was the maximum degree of any node to the Fibonacci heap. 